the deadliest bomb ever conceived is no longer just a concept. This weapon of unrivaled power is currently undergoing testing by the United States Air Force. Enter the Rapid Dragon, a modular system designed to transform ordinary transport planes into formidable launch platforms bristling with long-range standoff missiles. Imagine the strategic possibilities. In this video, we'll explore the capabilities of this game-changing technology and what it means for the future of warfare. If you've ever pondered about the deadliest bomb in the world, or if such a weapon even exists, look no further. Despite boasting an arsenal of billions of weapons, the United States Air Force remains relentless in its pursuit of ever more lethal armaments, making others pale in comparison. Renowned for its technological prowess, the U.S. continues to push the boundaries of advanced weaponry, setting aside vast sums to develop truly extraordinary tools. Enter the Rapid Dragon Bomb, a project shrouded in intrigue and speculation. What sets this bomb apart? Has it ever seen action in combat? Join us as we delve into the details of this deadly weapon currently undergoing testing by the United States Air Force. But before we continue, we would like you guys to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and hit the notification bell icon so you do not miss out on any amazing and entertaining content. The most dangerous bomb has been developed and it's known as the Rapid Dragon Bomb. This bomb is currently undergoing testing. The Rapid Dragon is a module for weapons that can be quickly deployed and then discarded. It is dropped from aircraft to release flying munitions such as cruise missiles. This innovative system was created by a collaboration between the U.S. Air Force and Lockheed Martin, a leading industry expert. Imagine a pallet loaded with all the necessary capabilities packed into it. This pallet can be attached to any regular military cargo plane, instantly transforming it into a strategic bomber ready for action. Once the mission is complete, the plane can return to its usual transport duties. These pallets, also known as deployment boxes, offer a cost-effective method to temporarily repurpose cargo aircraft, like the C-130 or C-17, into bombers capable of launching a variety of cruise missiles. These deployment boxes come in different sizes, accommodating anywhere from 4 to 45 cruise missiles. These missiles, like the AGM-158 JSSM, can precisely target both land and naval objectives from distances ranging from 570 to 1,200 meters away. And as of 2024, there are plans to introduce even more advanced missiles with an extended range. The project's name, Dragon, draws inspiration from an ancient Chinese weapon called the Ji Long, known for its ability to launch multiple long-range missiles from a safe distance. Similarly, the Rapid Dragon system aims to overwhelm enemy defenses from afar, ensuring the launching aircraft remains out of harm's way. By utilizing existing fleets of transport planes, this bomb enables significant increases in mass attack missions at a fraction of the cost of traditional methods. Furthermore, it streamlines training efforts, making it easier to deploy strategic strikes quickly and efficiently. This capability will allow the United States to swiftly provide strategic strike support to its allies, who are already equipped for airdrop operations from cargo planes. Unlike the B-52 Stratofortress, which requires a lengthy 10,000-foot concrete runway for operation, the C-130 can function from shorter, less developed airstrips as short as 3,000 feet. This flexibility enhances the Air Force's ability to target adversaries effectively. The concept of the Rapid Dragon further bolsters the Air Force's capabilities by enabling the simultaneous launch of numerous Joint Air-to-Surface Standoff Missiles JASSMs, from transport aircraft. This innovation is not only beneficial for the United States, but also opens opportunities for other Air Forces lacking strategic bombers, but equipped with transport aircraft. For instance, a C-130 equipped with Rapid Dragon technology can launch up to 12 JASSMs from a safe distance of 620 to 1,180 miles away from the target. This capability is achieved through the deployment of two Rapid Dragon pallets. Additionally, the larger C-17 aircraft can carry five Rapid Dragon pallets, each loaded with nine missiles, totaling 45 missiles per mission. During a test conducted over the Gulf of Mexico on December 16, 2021, an armed Rapid Dragon successfully received target data in flight from a remote control center. Utilizing this data, 
the system accurately targeted and released its payload, hitting its naval target with precision. To ensure system integrity, non-munition ballast rounds, identical in shape and weight to the missiles, are included in the payload configuration. Operational procedures for the Rapid Dragon system are streamlined, with Air Force Special Operations Command flight crews piloting the C-130J cargo aircraft. The four-pack version of the Rapid Dragon module is managed by a specialized airdrop crew, who autonomously program the system based on command and control data received during the flight. The effectiveness of the Rapid Dragon system lies in overwhelming air defense systems, as evidenced by past conflicts such as the 2018 Riyadh missile strikes in Yemen and the 2018 missile strikes in Syria. These events underscore the challenge modern air defense systems face when confronted with numerous low-flying cruise missiles simultaneously. Rapid Dragon emerges as a viable solution for missions requiring the deployment of multiple JASSMs. The Rapid Dragon system isn't just a lone warrior in the skies, it's a team player, coordinating with a squadron of small decoy drones to outmaneuver and overwhelm enemy air defenses. Just imagine Rapid Dragon is firing off its payload. These fake drones swoop in, creating chaos and confusion among the enemy ranks. The U.S. Air Force is serious about putting Rapid Dragon through its paces. They're testing it out with various aircraft like the C-17s armed with AGM-158 CLR ASMs and the AGM-158 JASSM XR, a recent addition with a range of 1,200 miles, which started seeing action in 2021. But that's not all. They're also eyeing Boeing's JDAM ER bombs, which may not have the same range but are more cost-effective. Additionally, they're teaming up with Rathon to integrate ADM-160 mailed decoys into Rapid Dragon's arsenal, the first live demonstration of this joint air-to-surface standoff missile system in Europe was a sight to behold. It happened during the Atreus 2022 military exercise, with an MC-130J taking center stage at the Andoya Space Test Range in Norway. With military allies from Poland, Norway, Romania, and Britain looking on, Rapid Dragon proved its mettle by hitting both land and sea targets with precision. And there's more on the horizon. The plan is to expand Rapid Dragon beyond just AGM-158 missiles. They're eyeing JDAM bombs, sea mines, drones, and other missile systems to broaden its capabilities. Plus, they're working on making the system compatible with different aircraft types, not just cargo planes. And get this, no additional crew training is needed beyond standard airdrop procedures. Think of Rapid Dragon as a smart, disposable bomb bay in a box. It's got an interface that takes targeting data from allied units on the ground and sends it straight to the munitions, all controlled from a distant fire control center. The concept of launching cruise missiles from transport or even passenger planes isn't a novel one. Back in the 1970s, the U.S. Air Force was seriously mulling over the idea of using Boeing 747s as missile carriers. This brainchild, known as the Cruise Missile Carrier Aircraft CMCA, was envisioned to pack a punch by carrying 50 to 100 AGM-86 ALCM air-launched cruise missiles inside its fuselage. These missile-laden planes were intended to patrol the Soviet Union's air borders, ready to unleash a massive strike at a moment's notice. The CMCA had a strong selling point, its affordability. Constructing and operating a missile carrier based on the iconic Boeing 747 would have been incredibly cost-effective. However, despite its potential, the CMCA project never took flight. Pentagon bigwigs, backed by the military-industrial complex, balked at the idea. They feared that if the CMCA proved successful, Congress would slash funding for the promising B-1B supersonic bomber. But the notion of using aircraft as missile platforms didn't fade into obscurity. In 1991, during the Gulf War, the Americans improvised by using military transport planes as bombers. These planes dropped pallets of bombs over Afghanistan. Later, military transports were employed to unleash the super-heavy GBU-43 BMOAB anti-bunker bombs. And then there's the Rapid Dragon. Interestingly, the project owes its name to an ancient Chinese weapon that could fire multiple crossbow bolts simultaneously. The design of the Rapid Dragon is refreshingly simple. It's essentially a standard transport pallet, similar to what you'd use with a forklift. It can even be made of wood. Mounted on this pallet are rocket rails operated by rack and pinion mechanisms. 
Depending on the mission, each pallet can carry anywhere from six to nine weapons. If fewer missiles are required, ballast is added to maintain balance. Loading up the Rapid Dragon is a breeze. Up to two six-round pallets can be loaded onto a C-130 Hercules, while the larger C-17 Globemaster can handle a whopping five nine-round pallets. That's 45 missiles in total. Once loaded, these pallets are treated like any other cargo during flight. They're released through an open tail hatch, guided by roller guides and a small extraction parachute. As the main parachute deploys, the pallet stabilizes and begins its missile drop one by one, ready to strike with precision. Currently, the Rapid Dragon system is paired with the AGM-158 JASSM cruise missiles. These stealthy subsonic missiles are designed to empower tactical aircraft like fighter bombers and attack planes to strike protected targets from a secure distance. Originally equipped with 1,000-pound highly explosive and penetrating warheads, these missiles could travel up to 230 miles. However, the ER version boasts a larger fuel tank, extending its flight range from 230 miles to an impressive 575 miles. Guided by a combination of inertial guidance, GPS, and infrared target identification systems, these missiles pack a punch with precision. Looking ahead, the United States is opting to utilize the AGM-158 JASSM, an upgraded long-range version with a redesigned wing, boasting an impressive range of about 1,200 miles. Small-scale production of this missile began in late 2021, with full-scale production expected to ramp up to five missiles per month by the end of 2024. Additionally, the United States Air Force is considering the JDAM-ER guided gliding air bombs, these bombs, featuring folding wings, rudder planes, and autopilot with GPS, offer enhanced accuracy capable of engaging targets up to 80 kilometers away, depending on drop altitude. What's particularly intriguing about integrating JDAM ER onto the Rapid Dragon system is its cost effectiveness. These munitions are relatively inexpensive, yet provide the ability to precisely target dispersed enemy concentrations, akin to what the Russians are currently doing, albeit with single bombs. With Rapid Dragon, however, a swarm of bombs could rain down on the enemy, significantly amplifying the impact. Another avenue to explore is the utilization of Quick Strike ER guided mines. These mines are conventional high-explosive bombs equipped with planning and guidance kits, along with a digital non-contact detonator. They're designed to function as seabed mines launched from aircraft. Gliding autonomously, these mines can navigate to their designated positions in enemy waters, beyond the reach of air defenses. Furthermore, there's the option of employing ADM-160 MALD autonomous decoys. These small imitation drones are adept at deceiving enemy air defenses by accurately replicating radar signatures of various aircraft, from stealth fighters like the F-35 to strategic bombers like the B-52. With the Rapid Dragon system, every heavy military transport aircraft effectively becomes a strategic rocket bomber. This significantly expands the U.S. fleet of bombers and missile carriers from 116 units, comprising B-52s and B-1s, to a whopping 786 units, including C-17s and C-130s. The cost-effectiveness of this transformation is notable. It's a mere fraction of the billions required for traditional bomber acquisitions. Moreover, the operational flexibility afforded by this system is unparalleled. While B-52 bombers demand concrete runways of at least 3,000 meters in length, C-130 heavy transport aircraft can take off from a mere 910-meter dirt track. This makes tracking and assessing the U.S. Air Force's deployment locations and capabilities nearly impossible. This presents a unique opportunity for NATO members and other allied nations lacking their strategic aviation assets. Countries like Australia, Poland, and Finland have already integrated JM and JMER missiles into their arsenals. By outfitting their existing heavy transport aircraft with Rapid Dragon systems, these nations gain the ability to launch precision strikes with low-visibility cruise missiles from distances exceeding 2,500 miles. Such capabilities significantly bolster their strategic prowess and reshape regional power dynamics.
The Rapid Dragon system represents a revolutionary new approach to strike operations, leveraging existing aircraft to deliver devastating firepower across vast distances. As testing continues and new munitions are integrated, the operational flexibility of this platform will only increase. Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date on the Rapid Dragon and other cutting-edge military technologies as more details emerge. Please share your thoughts in the comments section below. Thank you for watching.